Ion Exchange Systems. The purpose of this digital story is to explain what ion exchange systems are, what they do, and how they work. What is an ion exchange system? Ion exchange, in its most basic definition, is a unit process in which ions of a certain species are exchanged or placed with ions of a different species in solution. More specifically, ion exchange is a process that takes one type of ion, such as a magnesium or calcium, which cause hardness, and replace them with sodium to remove the hardness. This is an example of water softening done by ion exchange. The history behind ion exchange. The theory of ion exchange is a very old idea. In the mid to late 1800s, Sir Thompson and J.T. Way published papers in the Journal of the Royal Agricultural Society of England regarding the phenomena of ion exchange. The extent of their research discussed ion exchange as it occurs in soils. Their papers addressed how soluble materials such as fertilizers were retained in soils after large amounts of rainfall. Through an experiment performed by way, they also learned that some of the fertilizers, such as potassium chloride, had been replaced by equivalent amounts of magnesium and calcium. Major improvements in ion exchange technology were made when chemist Basil Adams and Eric Holmes discovered the first ion exchange resins. Today, most of the resins are aluminosilicates. What is ion exchange used for? Ion exchange can be used in a variety of areas. Its most common uses include water softening and some wastewater applications. Ion exchange in wastewater applications involves the removal of nitrogen, heavy metals, and total dissolved solids. Other notable uses include purification, demineralization, decontamination, and deionization. How does it work in each of its purposes? In order for ion exchange to work, there must be fixed ionic charges on a supporting material, and that material must be permeable to a solution. The fixed charges can be positive, called cationic, or negative, called anionic. The process can work in both batch and continuous modes. In batch mode, the resins are stirred with water that is to be treated in a reactor until the reaction is complete. In continuous mode, exchange materials are placed in a bed or packed column and the water to be treated is passed through. Once all of the resins are spent, the column is backwashed to remove any trapped solids and then regenerated. The process of regeneration revives the resins to be used again in the next cycle of the process. Materials to complete ion exchange are known as zeolites, which are naturally occurring. Zeolites are also called complex aluminosilicates. Aluminosilicates, however, are not always naturally occurring. Some are synthetic or man-made. There are five types of synthetic ion exchange resins which are used today. They include strong and weak acid cations, strong and weak anions, and heavy metal selective chelating resins. The process which manufactures the resins is called copolymerization. Styrene and divinyl benzene are the two most common compounds used. Design Considerations and Equations Some of the major design considerations involved in ion exchange systems include the exchange capacity of the resin, particle size, and resin stability. Stability prevents excessive osmotic swelling and shrinking, chemical de degradation, and structural changes. Other important considerations include regeneration system selection, selection of resin, vessel sizing, and mixed bed design. In Fruitland, Idaho, an ion exchange system called Kinetico 9 is used for arsenic and nitrate removal in drinking water. 
This particular system treats 250 gallons per minute. It consists of five sediment filters in a bank with two four-foot diameter pressure vessels which are 72 inches tall. The system uses 300M pure light resin. The average flow rate is 165 gallons per minute. There have been six months of testing data taken on this system. The system showed a hydraulic loading rate to each vessel of 6.6 .6 gallons per minute per feet squared. During these six months, 110 regeneration cycles were taken, consuming nearly 86 tons of salt. The process proved to be effective by removing total arsenic concentration, which averaged 42.1 micrograms per liter, and nitrate concentrations averaging 9.5 milligrams per liter to the respective maximum contaminant levels. The maximum contaminant level of arsenic is 0 0.01 milligrams per liter. This, however, was not the case when the system was freshly regenerated, which was due to mechanical problems. Alkalinity and pH values were also significantly reduced. What are the costs of ion exchange systems? The capital cost of the Connecticut plant was $286,000. Of that $286,000, $173,000 was used for equipment, $36,000 for site engineering, and nearly $78,000 for installation. For the rated capacity of 250 gallons per minute, the cost resulted in $1,146 per gallon per minute. The cost of the salt supply needed was $0.51 cents per 1,000 gallons of water assuming an average salt usage of 3.16 pounds per thousand gallons. What are some ion exchange system manufacturers? There are a number of ion exchange system manufacturers. Some of the major vendors include AdEdge, Siemens, ADI, STS, and Rimco. Rimco offers a variety of ion exchange systems which present methods to remove materials such as gold and copper, uranium, chelated metals, and household treatment. Their basic ion exchange system consists of 12 parts, dual ion exchange column, dual pumps, 12 inch diameter media, diverter valve assembly, pH controller, and 150 gallon fiberglass tanks, to name a few. The design specifications of Remco's basic ion exchange system, the BIXS, displays a flow rate of 2 to 10 gallons per minute, a 1 horsepower main pump, and uses 3 ion exchange resins. The 3 resins used include carboxylic, a weak acid cation, sulfate, a strong acid cation, and chelating. The system requires 115 volts and 5 amps to function properly. The outlook for ion exchange seems to be a very economical path. It is widely applicable and can be fitted for small and large systems. These systems provide a very successful method for removing various unwanted constituents which are needed for safe drinking water standards as well as standards set forth by the EPA in wastewater effluents.